Okay, we've started training camp. A lot has happened since Inverness or the last Inverness. Um, we've all kind of died. All there's only we're now only lasting off of six senior men that are fully training and fully working, and the rest of us are either ill or injured, which was a pretty big hit. Um, but since then, since training camp started, the six of us have been have been on it, and the order of the four has changed. And you're looking at the new stroke seat. I've been given the keys, and I'm pretty damn excited. Our first day at Loch Lomond was was pretty eventful. Um, it was absolutely rubbish rowing. The conditions were awful. I couldn't see. Um, I was getting splashed in the face, and it was a bit chaotic. But the second day. The second day was an at, was a completely different boat, a completely di- different atmosphere, and it was just all around a good time. Uh, boat moved on, we moved on, and just getting ready, getting ready for this this box regatta in it, box regatta in it, in it, in it, in it. Now there was a time. Right from the start, everyone started to go a bit mental. I think it was the conditions, or it was, it was much colder than it looks. This seems like a perfect opportunity to introduce to you our new head coach. Everyone, I introduce Chris Ray. might be hard to believe but this guy due to his size and sheer density he uh, is a wife fold challenge cup winner for multi boat club and he's actually a pretty good coach Did I get it? When a drug learn life
Moxie, oil, <laughs> money, <laughs> fuel, and oi. Yeah, really. Stop Phil. It's a partner. I. Okay, Joe. This is recording on here as well, so. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? I've like. I do some magic and I join the two together. Anyway, how do you think seat racing went? I think it's rigged and I disagree with the results. Before. Why do you think sea racing was rigged? I, I, I didn't never said that. Denial is a river in Egypt. Then how do you think sea racing went? You're interviewing me. Sorry, sorry. I'll in, I'll interview you in a second. No. <laughs> it's like, what was your favorite boat to ruin in general? Um, I think it's Joe the yeah. double. Double with Joe. Yeah, because the monkey. Nice um, the next question is, how do you feel about the women of the squad? <laughs> I, I I don't like them. You heard it here like first, folks. Gen- Because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? Gonna be my girl. Back is back. And just when we thought it was all over, we had a 2K test to go. I think everyone in the squad, everyone in the senior men, sort of had, everyone in the senior men had a goal to break 6.30. We all want to try out for Scotland and we all want to row for Scotland and 6.30 is the cutoff. The atmosphere before the erg was the same as every other test erg probably, but it was... It's just quiet. Everyone keeps themselves. Everyone's kind of bricking it. Before you know it, you're on an erg and you're just getting ready to, when you're warming up and getting ready to go. And then the coach says, attention, go, and you're off. We all gave it full beans and came out with a lot of PBs. It was funny because at the end, when everyone's there, when everyone's crowding around you, everyone's screaming at you, everyone's yelling at you. Sometimes, some people don't get it, some people don't like it, but it makes us go. Up now, one minute. 
After the 2K, we all signed ourselves up for the, the home international trials that are happening later on in the season. And sun was out, it was Easter Friday. So we all head to the boathouse for a bit of a wind down. And it was fucking class. Yeah, I'll let you watch the end. Cool. Yeah.